And so one day he said, instead of asking them, he said, I saw a dream last night. Two men came to me and they took me to Al Ard al Muqaddasa, the holy land. And then he said, I saw a person sitting down and there was a man standing on him and he was hitting him with a scalp or a type of knife and carving one side of the head. Then he would turn the other side and do the same. By the time he did it on the other side, the first side would be cured. So then keep on doing this back and forth. So I said, what is the matter with this man? They said, keep on going. So they kept on going. So we saw another man. He was lying down on his back and another man was hitting him with a rock. And whenever the rock hit him, the rock would roll away. The first man would go after the rock. In the meantime, the first one would be cured. He would then come back and hit him again. I said, what is this? They said, keep on going. And again, he saw a pit of fire in it that was shaped like a cylinder. And there were men and women upside down and there was fire in it and they would come up as the fire went then the fire would come down and they would come down they would go up and down and so on and so forth then he said I saw a person that was at a river of blood and another man was standing on one side and a person in the middle of the river every time that the person came to try to get out of the blood of river he would be hit with a rock so he would be pushed back and this would also be going on and on so I said, who is this? They said, keep on going. Then we kept on going until I saw a beautiful garden with a large tree in it. And there was an elderly man and lots of children around him. And there was in front of this man also a fire. And they told me to come. And I went into this garden and I saw a house. It was more beautiful than any house I had seen. Then at the end, he says, the Prophet ﷺ said to the two of them, you have taken me on a long journey. Now explain to me what I saw. So then the angels explained. As for the one that you saw his head being split, this was the one who would lie about others and his lie would spread everywhere. In other words, this is namima and ghiba and slander, bohtan on top of that. It's hurting the honor of families. It is breaking the marriage of people. So this will be done to him until judgment day. As for the one whom you saw that his head was being crushed open, this was a person whom Allah taught the Quran to, yet he would sleep the whole night and he would not act upon it during the day. And this is going to happen to him until judgment day. And as for the one whom you saw that the men and women were hanging upside down, these are the people of zina. And as for the one you saw swimming in the river of blood, these were the people who ate riba. And as for the old man you saw with children around him, that was Ibrahim. And the children around him were the young kids who passed away without reaching bulugh. You know that in our tradition, Ibrahim and Sarah will take care of any toddler, any infant who has passed away. They will be their caretakers until they're reunited with a Jannah. And as for the house that you saw, that is your house. And as for me, this is Jibreel. And as for him, this is Mikael. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Can I enter my house? And they said, no, you still have life left in this dunya. When that life is over, then you can enter the house. Then I woke up. Now, this hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. It mentions buhtan. It mentions eating riba. It mentions zina. And it mentions the one who knows the Quran but sleeps at night. Now, our scholars say that this is the one who does not wake up for fajr. This is the meaning of sleep the whole night because it is not wajib to pray tahajjud. It's not about tahajjud. It is about sleeping the whole night until the sun comes up means what? He missed Fajr. Right? So the one who does not pray Fajr. From all of these points, it is correct to extrapolate that any major sin can lead to adab of the qabr.